Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing another speed build for my save file in Willow Creek. Uh, this house is the Spencer Kim Lewis house. Um, I considered renovating the current house that they had, but I really hate it. I've always hated it. Um, I wish that I had kind of included it in the video just to sort of show you for reference, but it's just bad. I've yeah, it, it was beyond help. Some houses I'm just not that mo motivated to renovate because um, I don't like the shape or I don't like the, I don't know. There's something about the house though that I was just not willing to work with. So I tore it down and started from scratch, which I'm happy I did because I love the way that it turned out. Um, although it is significantly smaller than the original house was, um, I have an issue when it comes to building big houses. I always want to go for something really massive and um, I just don't make it big enough, which is weird because a lot of people have the opposite issue. Um, they make their houses too big and they don't know what, how to make them kind of work better and make them more manageable. And for me, it's the total opposite. I try to build a really big house and I end up with like a, like a regular family home. So this one it is, I will admit, it's a little bit smaller than what I had originally planned. I don't remember what the worth, what the house is worth. Um, yeah, I, I honestly couldn't tell you if it's more expensive or less expensive than their original house, but uh, I did put in a basement so it has a little bit more space. Um, overall, I just like this house a lot better. I think it's perfect for them. It's still got a modern vibe. This house is the only modern house in um, Willow Creek, so I kind of thought maybe they are um, a fairly new family to Willow Creek and they moved here and tore down like an older home to put up this new modern home. Um, so that's kind of what I have pictured in my head for the Spencer Kim Lewis family. If you're not familiar with this family, um, it's a little bit of an odd one. It's uh, one of the, e the, the EA created families. It came with the, um, the neighborhood of Willow Creek. Um, so it consists of Eric, uh, what's his last name? I just have to check on this because I can't quite remember. Um, it comes, it consists of Eric Lewis um, and then his wife. Um, oh, wow, really? Alice, that's her name. His wife, Alice Spencer Kim. Alice's mother, uh, which is, I believe her name is, um, no. <laughs> wow, I'm messing this up so bad. Okay, it's Eric Lewis, his wife, Alice Spencer Kim, her dad, Dennis Kim, uh, and then Eric's mom, Vivian Lewis, lives with them, and then Eric and Alice have a daughter named Olivia. So it's like this family of three, um, their daughter, and then each of them have a parent living with them, which is kind of odd. Um, I don't, I didn't really look into their relationships too much um, because I wasn't... I mean, I didn't want to do that much research on it. I did look at their traits and the things that they're into, the things that they like. Um, and I thought maybe, I don't know if this is happening in the game or not, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting if um, the two grandparents got together. Uh, Cause like, why not? They're living together. <laughs> um, I thought that would be kind of interesting. So if I were to play with this family, I think that's what I would do. Um, I would get, I think it's Vivian and, um, Dennis, I would get them together. That makes a lot of sense in my head. Um, but I think it's kind of nice our daughter, Olivia, she's a child. Um, she's a, She has the goofball trait. I think it's kind of nice that she can live with like both her grandparents and her parents. She has a lot of people to help take care of her. Um, one weird thing about this household, I think is everyone's unemployed. Um, there may be one Sim that's not unemployed, but the rest, they don't have jobs. So I don't know how they afford this house. Maybe, I don't know, like I said, I. Feel like this family is new to willow creek they don't have their careers established yet uh, maybe they did when they moved here but now they need new jobs um so yeah they kind of have like an untold story there um but the traits eric is uh he's the husband he is materialistic he's a glutton and he's confident um so i like i thought that's kind of why they would have nicer things um and like a nicer home is because he is materialistic he's into um finer things um and i don't know what his job would be like, like i said he's unemployed i'm not sure what i would choose for him uh, and then his wife she loves the outdoors she's childish and she's creative um, I didn't give her much creative stuff, but I did give them a nice backyard where they could spend a lot of time because she does love the outdoors. And what's kind of cool is that the pool, uh, the underground pool faces the 
um, basement. So when you're downstairs, there's windows that look out into the pool, which I think is kind of cool. Um, and then Vivian is Eric's mom. She's a foodie. She's fam uh, family oriented and she's cheerful. So I made sure to put in a big kitchen where she can cook food. And uh, then Dennis, Alice's dad, he loves the outdoors. He's neat and he's perfect. So um, for the the bedroom layouts, it was a little bit tough, but I kind of think I figured it out. Um, this bedroom on the main floor, I thought would be perfect for Vivian. Um, she can kind of spend her, she kind of has her own um, area of the house, like at the back there. I really like how there's like a hallway on the side that goes back into her area of the house. Um, that ensuite bathroom is also the main bathroom though, so there's two doorways that go into her bathroom. Um, and she has a nice view of the pool and yeah, I think that's a really good room for her. Um, right now, I'm just working on the living room. I made it very white and bright. Most of the house is um, has a lot of like white, bright colors. I thought that just suited them really well. And their original house was kind of like that to begin with. Um, I kind of wish I had taken a few screenshots of the, or taken, sorry, not taken, oh my God. Uh, taken a few screenshots of the older house because it could kind of show off their style a little bit, but for sure they were into modern homes and the color white. So um, yeah, I just uh, made my own thing with that and uh, I much prefer how this house turned out. Um, I'm actually a really big fan of this house. I, I really like it. I didn't really use any inspiration from like Pinterest like I normally do or sometimes Google Images. Uh, I just kinda, kinda went for it and I'm happy with how it turned out. I sort of did get some inspiration for the backyard area though, for the pool. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm really happy with how this turned out actually. Um, modern houses, I, I always thought that I struggled with them and that they weren't my favorite to build, but I'm starting to realize that it might be my, my strong point is modern homes and I don't really like them in real life at all. It's not my style, but they're fun to build in the Sims and I think that I'm getting pretty good at it. Um, so right now we are in Vivian's bedroom. I kind of went with like a lighter color for her. Um, she's got like a little sitting area over by the window um, and the sun kind of shines in. I thought maybe she could spend some time there like reading or just relaxing, but I think her bedroom is very like peaceful and laid back. It looks like a nice place for her to hang out. Um, so that is Vivian's bedroom. Um, I don't know if we're going upstairs now. Oh, I did fill the hallway up a little bit. I just, I didn't want it to be too plain, um, but I also didn't want this house to be cluttered either. I don't think that would be their style at all. Uh, but I do believe that's it for the main floor. Um, upstairs here, this bedroom is for um, Eric and Alice. So it was kind of tough because I was moving the bed around, didn't know where exactly to put it. And, um, oh, this actually, what am I talking about? This is not Eric and Alice's bedroom. This is Olivia's bedroom. Um, she, I think, would be extremely spoiled. I don't think she would be a brat, though. I think she'd still be, like, a, a pretty nice kid. She's being raised by a lot of, like, well-rounded adults. I think that she would be a pretty good kid. But they do spoil her. They give her a lot of toys, everything she wants. And she is an only child as well, so... Um, I do feel like on, like only children are probably a little bit more spoiled just because um, there are no other kids to spoil. So they get kind of everything they want, or at least in this case, um, Olivia certainly does. I went for a lot of pinks in her room. It was hard to find a balance though. Um, I don't know why I skipped down to the dining room. I just felt I need to add a few more things to that. So that's where we are now. And then I did a feature wall in the dining room too. Um, I think that I had paused building for a little bit, came back the next day and wanted to add a few more things. So that's what you're seeing there. Uh, and then Olivia does have a door that goes out onto the balcony as well. Um, but yeah, I just put a lot of stuff in there. I put a violin, a little um, table where she can draw. I thought maybe Olivia would really want, or no, sorry, Alice would really want her daughter to play the violin because she's creative. Um, there's the Don't Wake the Llama table. She's got like a whole little like toy mat. She is really set up in this bedroom. She's got a lot of stuff. And then she also has an ensuite bathroom as well of her own. And I made that very pink as well, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, but yeah, this, this child, she wants for nothing. She gets everything she could ever ask for. Um, I think she'd be an interesting teen to play with, that's for sure. Um, to turn this into a teen bedroom, I think would be kind of fun. So yeah, that's her bedroom there, um, the bathroom. And then unfortunately, I hate to tell you this, the rest of the house, the basement and the backyard, I forgot to hit the record button when I was furnishing that. So unfortunately, you're not gonna get to see that. You'll have to look at it in the screenshots. I'm really disappointed myself for doing that. 
but unfortunately it did happen. Um, you will see me put together the bedroom for Eric and Alice. Um, and I think their bathroom as well, but after that we got nothing. <laughs> So I apologize for that. But in the basement is uh, Dennis's bedroom since he's a neat and perfect sim. It's very well put together. There's also like a sitting room down there where they can all hang out and watch movies. Um, there's a laundry area, a bathroom, and then also uh, in the screenshots, you'll see where you can kind of sit and look out into the pool, which is very interesting. Um, not for everybody though. It's also a little bit weird that you can see people while they're swimming, but that's just kind of how it is. I did an archway for the bathroom here as well, as opposed to a door. Um, also a bit of a controversial choice, but uh, I thought that'd be perfect for them. So that is it for this speed build. If you guys enjoyed the speed build, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.